Hello, in this video we will start with Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel has the same concept of tabs similar to Microsoft Word. You can notice that we have similar tabs like Home, Insert, Page Layout, Review, View and Help. And we have new tabs like Formula and Data. In Microsoft Excel we have a new concept, the concept of worksheet. Each worksheet contains columns. Columns are labeled by letters A, B, C, D, E, and so on, and rows, and each row is labeled by number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The intersection of columns and rows called cell. So, in Microsoft Excel, we have a worksheet. Each worksheet contains columns labeled by letters and rows labeled by numbers and the intersection of columns and rows called cell. So each cell has a unique identifier or name. We use this identifier to call the cell. For example, this cell is the intersection of B, column B, and row 2. So the identifier of this cell or name is B2. For this cell, the identifier is D3. For this cell, for example, the identifier is F, Five. So F5. Also, in Microsoft Excel, we have sheets. We can use the plus icon to add as many as sheets we need. Each sheet has a name, a unique name. I cannot use that, uh, the same name for two sheets in the same Excel file. So, for example, here I have sheet one. If I try to rename this sheet, to sheet one, a, a prompt will be appear that the name is already taken. I cannot use the same name. To rename the sheet, I can just double click on the name of the sheet and rename it. For example, sheet A, double click sheet B. Also, uh, if I this sheet, I don't want this sheet, uh, this sheet anymore, I can right-click and click on Delete Sheet. Right-click, Delete Sheet. Right-click, Delete Sheet. Plus icon to add, and right-click, click on Delete to delete the sheet. You can notice here that I can directly delete this sheet because I never used this sheet. But, for example, if I want to delete this sheet, a confirmation will be appear to make sure that I want to delete the sheet because once I did the action, I delete the sheet, I cannot undo the action. So if now I click on delete, now here you can notice the undo button is disabled and I cannot undo and uh, retain the sheet back. So uh, make sure that before delete the sheet, you are sure to, uh, that you want to do that. Also, for the sheets, we can change the color, tab color. To change the tab color, I can right click on the sheet name and tab color and change the color. From, for example, here I will right click, tab color, choose yellow color. So you can notice that the sheet colors has been changed. Also, if I have a sheet, I, I don't want anyone to see it. I can hide it by also right click on it and click on hide. Now to unhide the sheet, right click again, unhide, choose the sheet and click on OK and the sheet will appear again. Now to adding data in the sheet, I can simply go to the cell and typing. Now if I didn't click outside the sheet or click on enter button and uh, uh, click on escape, the data will not be saved. So if I typed item and click on escape, the data will not be saved. To save the data I, after typing, I will need to click on enter button in, on keyboard. Now, if uh, I need the uh, item, I need to add S to item. If I click again to on the cell and click on S, the content will be replaced. The S will not be added to item. So I will undo if I click S directly the, I, the S will not be added, it will be replaced. To add S, I need to double click on, on the cell. 
Now I can add as at the end of items. Now let's say we have item one, item two, item three. I don't need no, I don't need to type all items. I can use the autofill. To use the autofill, I go to the corner of the cell. You notice how the uh, icon, mouse icon will be changed to black plus. I can click and drag, scroll down, for example, to item 10. Now, let's, for the, in the B column B, I will add the main quantity. Now, if I have, for example, 198, I have a sequence, 100, 198, 96. If I go to 100 and scroll down, you will notice that uh, the autofill not, work, not working. Because if I need to use the autofill for numbers, I need to select at least two cells. Now, I can use the autofill. So, let's here have the sold, quant sold quantity. Uh, I here I have the autofill for descending order. Let's here do it for ascending order, for example, 10, uh, 13. Now I will choose these two cells. I can click and scroll down, or I can just double click here, and the autofill will, will work normally. Now let's calculate the remaining quantity, which is the main minus sold. You can notice here that if I have a cell, for example here, I need to increase the size to increase the width of cell, I can just use the mouse to increase the cell. The main quantity is main quantity minus sold quantity. To calculate it, I need to use formula. In Excel, to use formula, I need always to start with equal. Now equal. Uh, which cell? I need the cell here on B2 equal B2 minus the sold quantity for this row is C2 minus C2. After I adding the formula, now I click on enter. You can notice here that the formula will be applied. Now let's say here I have, I would, what is the importance of formula? For example, here, if I change this formula to 200, this number to 200, the formula will automatically be updated. If I go back to 100, the formula again will be automatically updated. For formula, I can directly double click here, and the formula will be applied for all rows. For example, for row number three, the formula is B3 minus C3. For row number four, the formula is B4 minus C4. Let's now uh, have the unit price. I will add the unit price. Also, I will add uh, it uh, as autofill. Let's try 5, 10, uh, 5, 12, and use the autofill. Now, I need to calculate the uh, total price, total sold price. For total sold price is the sold quantity times unit price. So equal sold quantity is C2 times which is the star unit price which is E2. And enter now also here at the corner double click and the formula will be applied to all now let's say we have a tax in percentage uh, before tax let's say that we have the unit price in dollar in dollar so I need to change you can notice that here the default formatting is number is general, I need to change the unit price to be uh, currency. I can select these cells, unit price, from here. I can use to choose if it is dollar, uh, in euro. I can switch between them. Also, from here, I can increase and decrease decimal. If I don't need decimal, 
I can decrease. If I need a decimal, I, I can increase decimal. So from here, I can increase and decrease. Also, I can, I will change the total sold price to currency, and I will decrease decimal. Uh, let's say now I have to add tax. I need the tax to be in percentage, for example, 11%. So I will select these cells. From here, I will change the type of these cells to percentage. Now, I here I will calculate the tax percentage. For example, I will add the tax percentage with, uh, let's say, for example, 11%. For all cells is 11%. Now, I will calculate the tax amount. For tax amount is the tax times tax percentage, so equal F2 times G2. You can notice that directly the tax take the currency, which is correct. I will keep the decimal, two decimal places. Now, the, I need to add, for example, a discount. A discount. Also, I need the discount to be uh, in, uh, as a currency. Let's say I, here I have uh, uh, 1, 2, 0. For 0, you will notice that it will be replaced for currency by dashed. For minus, it will be placed by brackets. Uh, 2. 3, 10, 20, I adding random, random numbers, for example, 8 and 10. Now I will add, for example, here total price. For total price, for example, we have total price is the total sold price plus tax minus discount, so equal total price, which is F2, plus tax amount, which is H2, minus discount, which is I2. And I will click on Enter. And now if I click, double click here, the formula will be applied. You can notice that uh, below here I have a hashtags. That hashtags because the width of cells is, uh, I must be increased, so I can hear Click here at the border and increase the size, and the numbers will be applied. So uh, we see how to change the type, for example, for percentage, for currency, from number to number. I see how I can use the arithmetic function, addition, subtraction, uh, multiply, or also I can use the div division. Now, if I go to the Home tab, for example, let's add the border for this uh, data. So I will select this data, these cells. From here, I can directly add border. From here, I can change the font. For example, I will use Calibri. I will increase the size. I also, I may will make it bold. I can add italic. I can underline or double underline. Uh, I can fill the cells. I can change the color, for example, to red. Uh, also, from here, I can uh, add the strike, super, strike through or super subscript, superscript, similar to the one found in Microsoft Word. You can notice that now, as, uh, here I will decrease the size a little bit. You can notice now that uh, these cells are not completely up here. Uh, for example, I, I need to you, uh, this cell to be on two rows. I can use wrap text to change the to be on two rows. For example, here I can use wrap text to use on two rows. And also, if I need uh, that all cells have the same width, I can choose these cells and increase the size of one cell, and all cells will take the same style. Uh, also, from here, I can switch wrapping between on and off. So I can, from here, I will increase the size like this. Now, in addition to uh, font, I have the alignment. I have two alignment. I have vertical and horizontal alignment. For horizontal alignment, I have the alignment to the left, center, and right. 
I will make it center. And for the vertical, I have top, middle, and bottom. I will choose now the bottom. Now, also, I have, for example, I will add a title for this, my table. I can merge cells. To merge cells, I will select these cells. And from here, I will click on merge cells. Now, I will add, for example, March, March data. I will add also a border. I will increase the size. I will change the font. I will add a fill. I will make it bold. Also, I will change the color. So uh, now I applied the formatting I need. Thank you.